The Winx Free King Radius from Baltor's Spell. Countess Cassandra and her daughter Chimera are defeated. Finally, the sun shines again on Solaria. It entered the Light Rock Fortress to get more spells, but no one saw it, and no one could stop it. And as usual, it left its mark, the brand of Valtor. I can't believe this! How is that possible? How can one man have that much power? Tecna Valtor is not a man. He's a dark wizard on the hunt for more power. That's why we have to stop him before he gets hold of all our magic spells and becomes invincible. But how? We can't even find him. We'll start with the last place he attacked, Light Rock. He must have left behind some magic remnants that would give us a clue as to his whereabouts. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> Digit, you're awesome! <laughs> oh, hi, Tecna! Did you see what I did to this ugly monster? That was great! But I need the computer now, so can you get out, please? I'm leaving on a mission to try to find out where Valtor is hiding. And I'll be right with ya! Well, you're a bit too big for my life to be <laughs> Sorry to spoil your fun, Digit. I know how into these things you can get. It's just a silly game, Tecna. I'm ready for a real battle. So, when do we leave? Digit, you can't come with me. You're too tiny and this mission is too dangerous. Aww. Please, be more careful. Don't worry. I'll clean it up later. Now, Pixies, listen carefully. Valtor might take advantage of our absence to try and sneak into Althea to steal our spells, so be on the lookout. Don't worry, Miss Farragonda. You're talking to the Pixie of Passages. I'll go and put a spell on all the passages in Thanks, Lockett. But as you know, we already have a powerful spell protecting the school. This one! Yeah, well, don't take it personally. She always acts as if she rules the school. Digit, she does rule the school. She's the headmistress. I'm sorry, Kiko, but you can't come. You're too tiny. What's with people today? You think we'd shrunk the way everyone keeps saying we're tiny? Please, keep an eye on Pip for me, okay? Well, I don't know, Layla. You think we'll be able to handle that? Chico Cipitopa! Piloting this spaceship requires the most advanced training. Beware! A sudden flash from deep space! Raise the reflective shield! Well, I can offer him strong emotions. Oh, yeah? Well, I can make him a nice portrait. Right. There. Shh. I see you've been taking drawing lessons. 
Oh, I see. It's not real. Like everything else you do, it's just an illusion. Right. And with my illusions, I'm going to win Valtor over. Dream on, you fool. Hey, why are you getting so upset? Valtor is not the only man in the magic dimension. You're just saying that because you want him for yourself. Ew, definitely not. He's way too cold and conniving. Stormy is right. We've both seen how you look at him. Yeah, well, so what? Let's say I do want him for myself. I'm the top witch here, and as such, I get first dibs. Uh-uh, no way, forget that! <laughs> Come on, sisters, what's happening to us? In all the time we've been together, we've never been at each other's throats like this. Hmm? There's got to be a way to resolve this dispute efficiently and peacefully. Sure, let me have him. That's the only efficient and peaceful solution I can think of. Ugh! Huh? Well, <laughs> oh. if it isn't one of those mini fairies that hang out with the wings, hello there. Hmm. What? What did you say? Did you get that? No, she's just talking baby talk. Hang on a second. I just got a brainstorm. Don't those pixies have a whole bunch of ancient spells and charms and whatnot? Yeah, just like all magical beings, but why do you ask? Because it could be the solution to our problem. I say whoever gets the pixies' collection of spells first also gets Valtor. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. This is getting more and more interesting. Oh, come on, let's go to Pixie Village. For sure, that's where those spells are hidden. Stormy, darling, you forget that the Pixies have moved their village since we tracked it down and took their codex. So let's just make this stupid little Pixie talk get her to tell us where their new village is. Yeah? Then what? We don't understand a thing she's saying. I see, I'm surprised at you. Don't you know these Pixies never travel alone? Squashing this pixie a little bit should be enough to make the others come out of hiding. Oh, that stings! Spaceship! Spaceship! Duty calls! Contact! Hooray! Come back here, you little... Oh. Oh. Libby, go and get the Althea pixies while I keep them fuzzy. Okay, I'm running. Uh, I mean, I'm flying. Hurry up, Livy! The others are all at the magic wood ceremony, and the village is completely unprotected! Are you sure this isn't gonna make it any worse? <laughs> How can it get any worse? <laughs> Trust me, I'll take good care of you. Oh, all right, if you say so, I guess. Mm -hmm. oh. Looking for Darcy? She left already, and she's going to win if we don't hurry. Well, then, what are we waiting for? We're waiting hey! for these cold compresses oh. to work. In the meantime, you need to stay still and be very quiet, all right? Oh, okay. Now, listen, Icy, let's talk you and me. Why do you say we make a deal, just the two of us, without Darcy? We team up to find Pixie Village, and once we've laid hands on the spells, we can just... Oh, sorry, I forgot. You told me to keep quiet. <laughs> she loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Yes, she loves me. I knew it. I just wish she'd show it a little more. That's all. Musa, too. She might want to thank me once in a while for tidying up her room. Don't you agree? <laughs> How wonderful it must be to be so little and carefree. Little? What exactly do you mean by little? Well, Tata, little in that sense. You know, little has several definitions. Little can mean limited, humble, small, or it can mean short. But that's not what you meant, right? No, even though we don't actually tower over anyone. Tower isn't tall, high, soaring to the sky. Wrong? Well, yeah, actually, I just banged my head. That's not what I meant. But about your head, there's a protective barrier around Althea. I noticed it works. Livy, do you happen to have a message for us by any chance? Oh, yes, I forgot. Come quick. Possible attack by the tricks. The pixies are all in the village. Well, I mean, no, that's not right. No rush. Take your time. 
read the paper. Oh, okay, well, let's see. Ray planned on Pixie Village. Safety of magical spells in jeopardy. All pixies away at magical ceremony. Your help is required immediately. Girls, we've got ourselves a mission. <laughs> <laughs> Little creatures of the forest, let's go ask the headmistress to raise the magical barrier. <laughs> okay, you, you're gonna tell me where it is. No, they're going to tell me where it is. Whoa. Oh, no. The only way you're getting away from me is if you give me the information. Oh. Hold on, Glim. So, little ones, how do you like your new carousel? <laughs> I'll handle this. First, I'll hypnotize them, and then I'll... Get the information and keep it for yourself. I know what you're up to. You're trying to pull a fast one. You're just like Icy, maybe even worse. Calling all spaceships! Calling all spaceships! <sighs> we three thank you for the ride and bid you all goodbye! Bye, 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 bye. Huh? Hmm... Those annoying pests don't want to cooperate. I'll just do it my way. If their secret village is in one of these trees, I will find it. Little ones, where are you? Come on out, we don't want to hurt you. What do you say we split up, Darcy? All right. But there's something I gotta tell you first. What's that? About earlier, I hope you didn't think I was trying to double-cross you, did you? Of course not. In fact, I want you to know that I really want you to win this competition. Right after me, that is. Oh. Hmm. Come on, Pixies, show yourselves. Why delicate and sensitive little creatures like you must just love beautiful and lovely flowers. Ugh, I'm gonna find you yet. Yoo-hoo! Tell Darcy where you are! He's coming this way. Ready for takeoff? Hmm? Shh! I'm picking up extreme danger! Follow me! Yoo-hoo! Gotcha! <laughs> No, it's that way! Oh, I'm not sure anymore! My cat, just stop for a moment, please! So where are we? I don't know! You found the passage that got us through Farragonda's barrier, but maybe this is too tough for you! I sounded like a fairy now, didn't I? Oh, I thought the right path was around here somewhere! Okay, take five. Relax your circuits a little bit. The right path to where? That's not the right way to Pixie Village. First, we have to find Buzzy and Glim because they could be in serious danger. Hey, listen up. I was just checking my magic sphere for directions and I saw the tricks. They've captured Buzzy and Glim. Oh, we've got to rescue them. Come on, everybody. Oh. <laughs> hey, where did Limpy go? Tell me where your village is, or else! Hey, I don't understand a word of your pipsqueak language, all right? Who's a pipsqueak? Huh? Amori, look in there and see if you can find out where that hear blender me? has been. Tell me where it is! Hang on a second, do you guys hear that? Hear what? Uh, oh. Talk, you tiny talk! My special sensors are picking up Darcy! Hey, everybody, look! I'm up here! Peekaboo! Now it's my turn to surprise you! Huh? <laughs> oh! 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 Whoa, hey, spaceship!
Chip, are you all right? <laughs> you don't really think I'm afraid of you, you pesky little fleas! What did you call them? Fleas, I call them fleas. And now it's time for a little pest control. My uncle, the scientist, used to love fleas. He thought they were a fascinating species because huh? they can go anywhere and never get caught. Oh. No, no, please don't do that. I can't stand being tickled. <laughs> Nothing. I guess they're not water creatures. <laughs> No way! She couldn't have found the Pixie Village before me, could she? <laughs> Did you stop? She's too weak to hurt us anymore! She's totally exhausted! Oh, alright, but that sure was a lot of fun! Isn't that a shame that the fun things in life are often the ones that are the most short-lived? Oh, Wicey, am I ever glad to see you! I just wanted to say that we shouldn't let a dumb guy thing ruin our friendship. I totally agree! Is everything alright, ladies? It is now. And since we're together again, let's teach those pixies a lesson! Right. And the sooner we do it, the sooner Valtor will be mine. <laughs> They're all trying so hard to impress me. Flattering. Charge! Huh? <laughs> 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 Getting ridiculous! I can't get you! You're too small! Look, well, here we go again! Everyone's calling us small! If only you were a little bigger! Hang on a sec! <laughs> oh. Now you can't bother me anymore! Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. oh no, Kiko! Oh! Oh, this can't be! Oh, Kiko, where are you? She's too heavy. This isn't good. Bloom is going to be so upset. Okay, should I go tell her now? I'm running. I'm flying. <laughs> no, you are not going anywhere. I am the pixie of love. I'm supposed to love my fellow creatures, not squash them like bugs. Kiko, I'm so happy. Are you okay? <laughs> it's me, Bidget. I'm gonna teach those three to have a bit of respect for little creatures like us. Little, you say? But you are much bigger than usual. You are huge, massive, enormous, gigantic, immense, humongous, titanic, colossal, monumental, totally disproportionate. All right, Toon, I get the point. Well, I was just trying to be precise, Digit. Well, since I'm so enormous for once in my life, I'm going to really, really enjoy myself. <gasps> huh? Oopsie, I think maybe I made them a little too big. So what now, small fry? Huh? Huh? Oh, Ta da! <laughs> so you're still refusing to tell us where the new Pixie Village is? I will not be a traitor! Too bad, because I don't think you can handle being in the cooler much longer. Quick, we've got to do something or Digit isn't going to make it. Yes, I know. Let me think for a sec. Earlier, I read a very interesting thought from Icy. What is it? What do you see? Oh, this is going to be good. Watch this. Ahem. I see there is a man in your lives. And you are waiting for this man to make an important choice between Icy's shining beauty, Stormy's powerful emotions, and Darcy's mesmerizing ways. Who will he choose? He is still undecided, but I, the Pixie of Love, have the power to tip the balance. I can influence with whom he falls in love. All I have to do is sprinkle a little pixie dust on the one I choose. <laughs> Give me that stuff right now! First set digit free! Who do you think you are giving us orders? This game's over. Valtor! Valtor, huh? Techno were here, she'd let him have it big time! The 
this ridiculous contest is over, I need you for other, much more important upcoming battles. Oopsie! Some might find this hard to believe, but I just squashed Darcy and Stormy! Well, if it wasn't so gruesome, it would be kind of funny. Too bad, I just started to find these real-life battles way more fun than video games. Now, go and join the others, then all of you follow me. Oh, there you are. Just a second, I'll come out and you can have your computer back. No, no, you can stay as long as you like. Okay, why all this sudden generosity? Well, no reason really, it's just that, you know, when someone's been away for a while and they come back, they kind of… And so I just thought… Heck, now don't be so namby-pamby! We've only been apart for a few hours! Huh? Hmm. Hey, Toon! What do you say you and I tidy up the room together, huh? Well, actually, I've got something else to do, do you mind? Here. But… <laughs> Have you seen Kiko? Mm -hmm. That's strange. Whenever I'm back from a mission, he's always the first to greet me. I don't get it. Huh. Some mission, we couldn't find any trace of Valtor. A lot of strange things have been happening today, don't you think, Musa? Did you, Kiko? Huh? huh? Pixies and fairy pets. Hey, girls! The Pixies and Kiko saw Valtor today! Say what? Yeah, and it sounds like Digit actually managed to chase him away. Thank you, thank you, everybody. But I want to point out that this was truly a team effort. We all worked together. The Pixies, Kiko, and all the fairy pets. Oh, how careless of me. With all that's going on, I forgot to take down the barrier. In light of today's events, and thanks to Digit's efforts, we now know that Valtor still has the Agador box. And that's quite an important find, given that today we learn nothing else. Hmm. Digit, you really were a very big help today. Actually, you'd be surprised just how big a help I was! <laughs> <laughs> the Winks start their journey to the unexplored territories beyond the barrier in search of the legendary Golden Kingdom. There may be kept the power that will stop Baltimore. If you're a Winx, there's a place for you. Meet a thousand friends to share your dreams and faith. If you're a Winx, you can never lose. If you trust your heart, you will never Giant wave you broke 